Filters and sorting will allow you to limit and order the players shown on the projection screen. You can see the large list of players that are available when you first go to the site. There's a whole lot of wonderful data to go with them, but you're most likely not going to want to look through every one of the hundreds of players. Filter and sorting options come to the rescue in order to make things much simpler. Slate filters. The first part of creating any lineup is knowing which slate you're building a lineup for. Select the slate that you're looking for, and the players shown below will be limited to players who are part of that slate. From there, you can select game filters. You can hide players from specific games or teams by clicking on a team or game element from this list. Once a team is excluded, it will have a line across its circle to indicate it has been excluded. If the entire game has been excluded, there will be a red background to indicate that entire game has been removed. Now that we narrowed down our slate and filtered out a couple of games that we weren't interested in, we can go in and search for a particular player name, team, position, or max salary. These are called player filters. As we go through each individual team, you'll see how many salaries are being displayed out of the total available. Type the player's name and that individual will show up. Or you can type part of a player's name and get possible matches. Selecting the team dropdown will let us narrow down even further by hiding all players except for those on the selected team. The position can be selected in a similar manner. Also, you can pick a max salary to show all salaries below your maximum. Sorting. Whether or not you decide to filter the salaries, you can sort all of these salary lists by value, salary, projection, loved, hated, scored, confidence, how often they meet or exceed projections, or chat volume to drill down even further to get all of the information that you need. If you click the same button twice, you can switch from descending to ascending results. Did you get excited with the various filtering options and just want to go back to your original screen, erase the content in the filter sections manually, or just simply click here to clear all the filters at once? Now you're back to a clean slate. Thanks for watching and check out our other tutorials for more Line Start tips and tricks.